Hello, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel, and this is Casaligan Vlogs. So today we're going to talk about derivatives of logarithmic functions. So take note and have a refreshing moment for today because I'll be teaching to you and how to take derivatives of logarithmic functions. So we have here the rules of exponent of loss of exponents. So remember this loss are rules of exponent. And we have here the loss of radicals. So remember this loss. And of course, the loss of logarithm. So take note of the loss of logarithm. So log of a with the base of this part m and log of log of m with a base a plus log of n with a base a is equal to log of m and with a base a. So take note of this part. This is when it is multiplication, you add here. And with its division, that is minus. And take note, the exponent will be placed here. So these are the following that mostly that we're going to, to take into these problems uh, we will be taking later. So take note of this. So these are the formula for derivatives of logarithmic functions. So we have here the derivative of log of u with a base a is equal to log of e with a base a over u d over dx. And log uh, derivative of l and u is equal to 1 over u du over dx. So find dy and dy over dx and simplify whenever possible. So we have here six problems that we need to solve today. So let's start with number one. So y is equal to ln of quantity of x minus one cube. So the first thing that we are going to do is we have, we are going to define that d over dx ln of u is equal to 1 over u du over dx. So first is we're going to determine the u here so that we could be able to get the d over dx. Our u here is x minus 1 quantity q. So therefore, our du over dx is equal to 3x minus 1 squared. All right. So the formula for this particular problem is d over d derivative of l and u over d with respect to x is equal to 1 over u d over dx. So therefore, we have here derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 over u du over dx. So 1 over what is our u which is x minus 1 cube times the derivative of d over dx which is 3 times x minus 1 square oh no this is like this okay so since this is 2 and this is 1 we could simplify this part so therefore 3 over x minus 1. So dy over dx or with respect to x. So this is the final answer for number 1. So let's see it with number 2. y is equal to the log of x over 1 plus x. So therefore we have here the logarithmic function. So the logarithm that we're going to use is derivative of log of u with a base a is equal to log of e a the base a over u du over dx okay so we have here first so since this is u over b in the form of du over dx is equal to v du with respect to x minus u dv with respect to x over v squared. So we have to find the value for u here so that we could be able to get d over dx. 
Okay. So we have here, if this is our u and this is our v, we have to v is 1 plus x and the derivative of u is equal to 1 minus our u here is x and the derivative of 1 plus x is equal to 1 over v squared is 1 plus 1, 1 plus x squared. So therefore, we have here 1 plus x minus x over 1 plus x quantity squared. So cancel. So therefore, we have 1 over 1 plus x. Okay, so this is the d over dx. Next, we have here the formula dy over dx is equal to log of e with the base, no base here because base then, over u which is x over 1 plus x times the derivative of d over dx over 1 over 1 plus x. Alright, so we can simplify this one as 1 plus x log of e by taking the reciprocal over x times 1 over 1 plus x. So cancel this part. So we have here, this is x squared rather, this is 1 over x squared. Alright, this is 1 over x squared, so therefore, this cancel part of this part, the remaining is 1. So log of e with the base uh, over x times 1 plus x. So therefore, this is the answer, dy over dx. Okay, so this is number 2. Okay, let's see it with number 3. So we have here number 3. So number 3 is equal to y is equal to ln of the square root of x minus 1 over x plus 1. So we have first the thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the properties of logarithmic functions. So y is equal to ln of x minus 1 over x plus 1 raised to 1 half. So we have here next we have y is equal to ln of x minus 1 raised to 1 half minus ln of x plus 1 raised to 1 half. So since the exponent we have here 1 half ln of x minus 1 minus 1 half ln of x plus 1. So this time we have to take the derivative of this part. So dy over dx is equal to 1 half, the derivative of ln is d over dx, ln u is equal to 1 over u du over dx. So therefore 1 over u which is 1 over x minus 1 times the derivative of u is equal to 1 minus 1 half 1 over x plus 1 times the derivative of this one is 1. So dy over dx we have to simplify. So 2, no, we have here 1 over 2x minus 1 minus 1 over 2x plus 1. Okay, so we have here the resulting part is we have to take the LCD. So the LCD of this part is equal to 2 times x minus 1 and x plus 1. So 2 times x minus 1, x plus 1. When we have to divide here, the remaining is x plus 1 minus, this is x minus 1. Simplify, so we have x plus 1 minus x plus 1 over 2. We have to simplify this one, we have x squared minus 1. So dy over dx is equal to 
cancel this part. So we have here 2 over 2 x squared minus 1. So cancel. So we have 1 over x squared minus 1. So this is the answer. So thank you. All right, we are now in number four. So number four is equal to y is equal to ln sec x plus 10x. So first thing that we're going to have is ln derivative of ln u over dx either is equal to one over u du over dx. All right, so we have here our u is equal to sec x plus than x. So therefore, du over dx is equal to sec x tan x plus the derivative of tan is equal to sec squared x. Alright. So therefore, we have here dy over with respect to x is equal to 1 over u times du over dx. So what is our u here? 1 over sec x plus tan x times the derivative of this one is sec x tan x plus second squared x. So we could simplify this one. We could factor. So this is sec. So 1 over sec x plus tan x. We could factor this part as sec x tan x times sec x. Because if we're going to multiply it back, the result is sec squared plus tan x. So this time, we could cancel this part. So the remaining is dy over dx is equal to sec x. All right. That is number four. And we have here number five. In number five, y is equal to ln of x squared times the quantity of x plus one over x plus one quantity of cube. x plus two quantity cube. So we have here first, we are going to apply the loss of logarithm here. So we have to simplify first y is equal to ln squared. This is a product. So therefore, this is plus ln of x plus y. Since this is di divide, so minus ln of x plus 2 q. So we have to simplify back again. So x squared plus ln of x plus 1 minus 3 ln of x plus 2. The exponent will be here. And y is equal to 2 ln x plus ln x plus 1 minus 3 ln of x plus 2. So take the derivative of this part, dy over dx is equal to 2, 1 over x times the derivative of x which is 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 times the derivative of u, which is 1, minus 3 times 1 over x plus 2 times the derivative of this part is 1. So therefore, we have here 2 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 over x plus 2. Alright, so we have to find the LCD. So therefore, dy over dx. So the LCD of this one is x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. So if we're going to divide here, the remaining is 2, x plus 1, x plus 2. Plus, the remaining is x, x plus 2 minus x times x plus 1. 
Okay, so we have to simplify. So simplify this part. So 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 2 plus x rather plus x plus 2 plus x squared plus 2x minus x squared minus x all over x times x plus 1 and x plus 2 so we have to simplify 2x squared plus 4x uh, rather this is 2x plus x that is 6x 3 2 plus 4 plus x squared plus 2x minus x squared minus x over x times x plus 1 x plus 2 okay so we have here rather this is multiplied by 3 so this is 3x squared and 3x okay so we have here 2x squared so 3 this is cancel because 1 and 2 and 3x this is 6 and 2 that is 5 minus 3 that is 5x plus 4 over x times x plus 1 x plus 2 so therefore dy over dx is equal to 5x plus 4 over x times x plus 1 and x plus 2 so this is the answer okay so we are now in number 6 in number 6, we have the problem y is equal to ln of ln 4x. So first is we're going to find our u. Our u is equal to ln of 4x. Our du over dx is equal to 1 over 4x times 4. So cancel this part. So we have here 1 over 4. So du over dx is equal to 1 fourth very easy for this part so dy over dx is equal to 1 over ln of 4x times 1 over 4 or rather 1 over x so this is 1 over x ln of 4x so dy over dx so this is the problem. So 1 over x ln 4x. So we have here try this, find dy over dx and simplify whenever possible. So we have to answer the one, you have to answer and comment your answers below. So thank you so much for listening and I hope everyone you enjoy the moment and I hope everyone you get to point all about this derivatives of logarithmic functions. So God bless everyone and thank you.